What's so, what's so funny? Because he, he was like, ah. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm just excited. I'm just excited. It's I'm like he's waiting up. for a pizza to come out of the oven. Like, mm. ah, yeah, I'll be making a lot of pizza out here in the interview. I'll be doing, I do, I do. And burgers, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, let's get into it. This is the MCMI report. Uh, yeah, Black Star, Most Deaf, and uh, I'm sorry, Yasin Bey, his new Word. name, and uh, uh, Talib yep. Kweli have mm -hmm. joined forces with their big homie Dave Chappelle and created a new podcast called uh, The Midnight Miracle. Wow, that's big. Um, that's yeah, and uh, the show's going to be like, you know, a regular podcast style thing, but also it seems like it's going to be somewhat of a variety show is what I'm reading. It's so, got to be. <laughs> yo, if, if they do things that are like, I don't know if it's a audio, just audio or audio and visual, if they're going to do like a YouTube version like we do. But mm -hmm. uh, man, that's going to be a lot of fun. They recorded this all during uh, Dave Chappelle's uh, summer camp uh, shows that he was doing back last year. I was about to say, he got a summer camp. Sign me up. I want to go to camp. Nah, he was <laughs> he was some comedy. <laughs> he was doing a bunch of comedy shows out there in o Ohio, and mm -hmm. um, that's when you know they. I think that they got all of this stuff together. So it's going to be real interesting. Uh, we'll be talking more about Talib Kweli uh, later on in the episode. But right now, next up, I believe that's me. While well, y'all get to talk about our dearly departed brother Pete P H. Um, this is the fifth year anniversary. Shout outs to 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 you, Blitz, and, and and GMS, and to Claudia, and everybody out had anything to do with um, getting his street named after him. Yeah, man. Thank Tell you to all about the people that. who signed. Tell us about that. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that. I got I got a copy of the sign right here. And... There it is. There it is. Nice. Robert um, Ph. Diaz way. Yeah, He's man. You know, uh, he got. We were able to get uh, his name named named after him, right? The the street that he grew up on, uh, to grow on Fifth Avenue uh, in Park Slope, and uh, mostly, I can't you know stop giving enough credit to um, Claudia Imperiali who uh, did most of the legwork to make that happen. Um, she's you know the princess of Park Slope is you know her nickname because she's grown up here <laughs> like we like we have Bird. over yeah, the years. Too. So she spearheaded getting making this happen. Shout out to our PH's wife, Shantae, um, his kids, Robbie, Royce, and Raiden. Uh, it's just dope that, you know, we were able to get that done. He's the first MC that I know of to get a street named after them, right? You know, obviously yep. there was JMJ before that, but he's not an MC. He's a DJ. And then afterwards, you know, we we are able to especially within new york a ton of people have gotten streets named right. after them which is just Even, great for the culture right because we're the yeah. birthplace of hip-hop we should have yeah. streets named after our hip-hop legends and ph right. is one of those biggie smalls has his uh street now yeah Christopher yeah. Wallace, yeah but Big not at that team. time right. no right. Right. big that big big pun thing. just got his um cool her guy yeah, his. yeah. Uh, Tribe Called Quest got theirs, um, you know, a little later on. And yeah, like I like we were saying, you know, me and G, I don't I don't know if you were there, Keith, when we went to um, Blasio. Yeah, for them to for them to sign it into, you know, to make this went to City Hall. Uh, yeah, went to City Hall, and and mm -hmm. the mayor signed it into law. It was at mm -hmm. the same time that Cool Herc was getting uh, Hip Hop Boulevard named, right? So yep. it happened on that very same day, which you know yeah. that's a that's a big thing, like. For for those two things to come together at once and for that all to happen, Indeed. so you know that's and shout that's, out to him because some people might not know this. When we were both do, in the process, he signed our petition that put his name like yes, uh, Robert PhD as way, and we signed his. There's a uh, meme I'm gonna throw it up of uh, all these different hip hop signs of different artists. Um, I think they got one for Fife and Queens. They got a whole mm -hmm. bunch of them, right, stacked up, mm -hmm. and PH is is in there on the top yeah. left corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's up. And that's it what's made up. me realize that. His, he set off a, that trend. A lot of people were so touched and moved by that. And they were like, hey, how come there's not a, a Christopher Wallace street? How come there's not this? Well, right, right. no, they had they had to, tried to get you know. Christopher Wallace from way before that even happened, but mm -hmm. it just wasn't, they weren't honoring it. They weren't letting it go through. So eventually, yeah. you know. It might have been a different mayor at the time. Yeah, it has, yeah, a, lot sure. to do it has, with the, sure. has a lot to do with who the mayor was and absolutely. the culture and stuff like that. Because Giuliani absolutely. wasn't going to do nothing like Ab that. Absolutely right, not. Right. He would never. You know what I'm saying? Giuliani yeah. ain't going to do nothing like yeah. that. And, you know, I think a lot of it back then had to do with the subject matter, right, of of the artist. So it may have happened earlier for Big 
if Big didn't talk about a lot of the things that he talked about, but also right, right, right. Big wouldn't have been big if he didn't talk about the things he talked about. So, you exactly. know, whatever. Right, right. Um, next up, let's, uh, anyway, shout out to everybody uh, that had anything to do with that. Like, once again, uh, really dope moment in hip hop and definitely dope for our brother PH. Um, right, next up, we got uh, Eminem. He's, uh, he's entering the realm of crypto art and, um, you know, all of those things. He he has NFTs coming of a lot. He has What's a an NFT. What's the NFT? Uh, G, go ahead. <laughs> um, <laughs> you put me on the spot. I, I don't have my, uh, my notes up. But an NFT it stands for non fungible token. Okay. The token part is like uh, think about blockchain and cryptocurrency, right? Like Bitcoin's a token, Ethereum's a token. Um, but they don't have to just be um, symbolic coins. You can have any digital, anything digital that lives on the internet that can be entered into the blockchain and verified that this is the original and this is the first, or if there's a bunch of them, that these are the numbered, you know, collectible um, tokens and non-fungible, meaning you can't copy it and bootleg it. So like, because it's on the blockchain, which handles, you know, contracts and, and security and everything, it's provable that this is the original. Okay, nobody could uh, sell a forgery and things like that. Although I'm sure people are trying, you know, people will try anything. So NFTs are collected by people, just like that you would collect a comic book or a baseball card or any item, clothing, music, whatever. And yeah. um, but it's in the digital realm. Yeah. And they're they're really valuable and popular right now. People make memes, they make artwork, they make songs, and then they put them up as this is one of one or this is one of a hundred like that. You gotta you gotta think of it as a digital um, certificate of authenticity, right? And uh, in a collectible, authenticity is key. So if somebody makes, you know, puts on the blockchain mints basically 50 of something, there's only that 50 of it ever, right? Uh, it, if you make a copy, it's not a, it's not real because it doesn't have the certificate of authenticity. Now I can sell these the, a one of one or a you know one of fifty, and every time that's sold, because it has the the digital you know the blockchain connected to it, uh, and 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 that in that certificate of authenticity, it still comes it's it still registers back to me as the author of it, and as the author of it, I still make a profit even though it's getting sold and resold and resold. It can be sold a million times each time. I make I still the the person that that minted the NFT still makes a profit, right? Right. Now just to so, give people some some ideas before we talk about Eminem's NFTs, some things that have been NFTs are artwork, recordings, virtual real estate, mm -hmm. games virtual pets like they had crypto kitties things like yep. that um even you can have an item which is part of a virtual game universe right um all those different types of things and people are being creative and coming up with new things you know well my music video is going to be an nft and things like that yep. so 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 what's um you know and it, the nba is in on this is a lot of this is not yeah. like fringe now it was fringe but now the NBA has virtual trading cards, right? Yeah, and not just virtual tra trading cards. They have virtual clips. They they have digital right. clips L of little, of like pieces games. of game of pieces exactly. of games that are turned into NFTs. Now I can go on YouTube and watch any of these clips, right? But if I don't have the one that is minted by That's the NBA, right. it's not authentic. I'm just this watching. is their exactly this is their original footage of this dunk that Jordan did, for instance, and it's been minted into the blockchain yeah. and, and, and these things these you know. things are selling for millions of dollars so anyway yeah yeah gay, gay. M eminem is getting in on the game he is not only selling um digital uh uh figurines of himself and all of his personas you know you got slim shady you got marshall mathers you got eminem right so he'll have he'll have little figures probably 3d figures that um are nfts of him that that he'll be selling at this uh shady con he's doing on uh, April 25th with uh, the uh, marketplace Nifty Gateway, right? And um, not only will he be selling those, but he'll also be selling other stuff like probably comic books or, or artwork and some of his original beats, which is amazing. You know, that's crazy. So, so you can buy an original beat from from Eminem and right. then and then record on it and when you do, if you NFT that, then you know it you it just keeps going or whatever. That's wow, that's crazy. crazy. I was going to ask you, do you just own a beat as an NFT or can you use it and make music with that? But I'm, I'm sure I'm sure you can make music with it. 
yeah, it wow. makes sense to do that. Yeah, man, because he's going to be selling it for. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I don't know if if it's if it's um, I don't know if you can auction NFT. Do you think it, it may work that way, or can you only set a price, and then that that's the price? Um, no, each time someone buys it, it can go up in value. Like that's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. When when I first sell my NFT, right? If I mm -hmm. if there has to be a way for me to say, okay, I have this. And um, it'll go to within this hour. Everyone can bid on it, and whoever the highest bidder is gets this NFT. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't. They do I don't. That. Yeah, I'm not sure if you if you have to set a solid price to sell the NFT. I bet you that. I bet you that's in. You know, that's but, possible. But that's another way how they do it, because I've seen like sixty six million dollars for an NFT. Yo. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm like, I can't believe somebody sat down and was like. You know what? I'm gonna charge sixty six million dollars. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know. Word. Well, all all you know, there's different platforms. You know, another one is called OpenSea that people use. Yeah. And all of the platforms people can bid, and the way you do it is you use Ethereum because it's most of them are on the Ethereum platform. Although there are a couple on Ethereum, other guys. Ethereum other is a points. cryptocurrency just like Bitcoin. Exactly. Keep right, continuing. and it's also a tech. We're gonna get into this, and then you know, probably in the Patreon. Right. We're you know, gonna yeah, have a, yeah. a crypto. A crypto you know what I'm saying? Because we gotta podcast. put people on on like how to diversify their yeah. funds hey exactly. shout out shout outs to um to jim jones who who does a lot of this and, and tries to put uh the hip-hop audience on to uh cryptocurrencies and selling you know your artwork in a, in a new and interesting way that that promotes ownership